<laughs> Why'd you do this? <laughs> What is up you guys? I don't know why I had to clap. I'm just super excited. I hope you're just as excited as I am because guess what? We are doing our third our third advent calendar unboxing. Before we do get into the ASOS advent calendar unboxing, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up, especially if you love advent calendar unboxings because the thumbs up really does help. You have no idea. And if you're new here, my name is Jessie May and we upload makeup videos, unboxings, and some lifestyle vlogs. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads or, you know, the marathon of the advent calendars. Duh. Oh yeah, we're gonna retake a thumbnail. Today we shall be getting into the ASOS Body and Face Advent Calendar. It is a 24 day advent calendar you get obviously 24 set 24 products but you get 15 full-size products this one did cost $99 I think it's $75 in like Europe or you know euros the retail value is at $477 so I'm super excited to get into this one because we're doing it for number three number three is a good luck right you know the first two they were kind of like uh, uh, meh, you know just eat. let's get it onto this because I have been rambling for far too long. It's also taken me about 20 times to do my intro because I stumble over words. My dog was barking. You know, it's just life. This one does come in a reusable like tote bag and this cute little scarf. So that right there is already a win on its own. I don't know how to wear scarves. Do you just kind of go wear it like a bandana? Do you, do, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't, don't, don't come after me. Um, I just kind of wanted to feel I kind of like it it's very very silky and soft it's very comfortable I don't know how to wear it <laughs> obviously so we're gonna set you aside but super excited to have that in my life because I'm trying to be a little bit more fashionable my normal day-to-day -day attire is a tank top if it's cold outside a t-shirt you know or a long sleeve shirt and leggings or skinny jeans that's it. This is probably one of the most fanciest, and it's not even fancy, it's plaid, and it came from FabFitFun. Anyway, let's get into the unboxing of the ASOS Advent Calendar. I need to cut. They like put one of those, I don't know, that holds the tags on, those little gallopers. Okay, now we can get into it. Like I did say, it comes with a reusable tote bag, so that's exciting too, because you know what? If I don't use anything else in this, I'm at least gonna use the bag and the scarf. even more oh you can't that just showed everything my scarf matches well the scarf matches the box I love it how freaking cute okay so it does spoil everything on the back so we're not gonna you know oh it um it opens this way like a box now that I got everything back into its little box I don't know how to really kind of, I guess I can go like this, and then we'll just kind of go win. On the first day, ASOS gave to me Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Hydrating Mask with Avocado and Glacier Water. What does this smell like? It does get a hint of something. <laughs> I wouldn't say that it is avocado because what is, I mean, I don't think I've ever smelled an artificial avocado. I do like the scent of this. I'm excited to use it and hopefully it actually gives me some super hydration because it, we're going into the winter months and here in Michigan it gets um, it gets dry. Day number two is right here. Day number two we have Dr. Papa. I don't think I've ever heard of them. So I am super excited to get some brand new like brands and everything because I'm using the same repetitive stuff and I just, I want to I want to venture out, get some new stuff. So this is from Dr. Papa. It's a rich mocha balm, multi-purpose soothing balm with natural pawpaw for lips, cheeks, and cosmetic finishing with a hint of tint. The pretty big tube for a tinted lip and cheek product. So I'm just gonna do a little swatch. Pretty dark color. Um, so maybe just for my lips, but it definitely is not going to be... Oh, it shears out a little bit. Never mind. Completely just... Definitely it shears out, 
it's almost like a glossy. I don't know if I would really particularly want that on my cheeks. Because it's almost sticky. I'm just going to wipe that off because I don't want to get makeup everywhere. Especially on the shirt. I like the shirt. Kind of. Meh. I don't know how I feel about this because I it's a tinted balm. Let's put it on our lips. Why not? We're going to just do it. Because it almost matches the color that I already have. So maybe it'll just give it like a, you know, just like a little shine. Fragrance free, cruelty and cruelty free and it's vegan. Day number three is right here. <laughs> I wonder, it's very light. My guess is maybe some type of sheet mask or sample mask or something. Oh, definitely not. What are you? Argan Serum Daily Treatment and Rejuvenating Treatment Formula with, with a blend of finest argan oils to deeply nourish hair and repair split ends. It's 100% vegan too. You can have like a little comb in your purse at least. So I do enjoy this packaging over a little itty bitty single one time use sample or even if it's a multiple use, multiple use sample you can't really reseal it. But this guy, it's got like a little seal. So that's cool. There you guys go, that's what it looks like in its little packaging here. And then, day number four, right here. Day number four is a nifty little box. And I do enjoy some of the detail, actually a lot of the detail on the boxes. I mean, because like 10, it's got like this cute little marbly, you know, aspect going on. It's cute. I like the little details to it. And number four we have, it looks like just a sample size of some Egyptian magic. It's an all-purpose skin cream. It's 100% natural balm with honey and olive oil to hydrate and nourish lips, face, and body. Like I said, it is just a little sample size. It has no scent. <laughs> I, I don't know. I was expecting it to smell a little bit sweet because it's got like honey and you know, but nope, it's just, um, you know, I don't know why I'm going to swatch a balm. It's literally, it's just clear. It's clear. <laughs> but that's going to also be pretty nice for these dry months coming up because again, Michigan winter, our winters kind of suck. Anyway, moving on. moving on to day five. Day five is really light. I'm going to guess maybe another little sample size. I was correct. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer Long Wear Foundation Grip. I have not tried this, so I'm kind of super excited. I've tried the, you know, the spray, the, the makeup setting spray. Do really enjoy that. That's really good. So I'm super excited to try this. I've How many times have I said I'm super excited? I don't know. And I gotta stop saying that. <laughs> but definitely going to give this a try and I'm Hopefully we'll like it because, you know, like I said, I also do absolutely love the Urban Decay Shadow Potion Primer, Primer Potion Shadow. You know, everybody else loves it too, so. On day number six, um, we have two sixes, so. We'll go with this top one. Because I like the box. Even if I do that, they look like two nines. So there was no, no distinction there because and then I threw apart the box, you know. Oh, look at that. Oh, this is not the same. I thought this was going, this was the same as a different one of the other two unboxings that I just did. This is completely different. This is the Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. I absolutely love this. Definitely glad to have a, you know, even though it's a sample size. You're still going to get multiple uses out of this because you do not need it that much. And it just takes the makeup off phenomenally. Phenomenally. You know that word. Alright, day number seven. She is up here. I'm going to try and kind of go a little bit faster because one, editing, two, um, there's a lot more days. Oh, that's cool. So, um, this is from the Oplex, I think that's how you say it. I have the number zero or whatever, you know. It's like a set, like they're zero, one, two, three, and I possibly like a four. And they're all for your hair. Your hair. And this one is the number three and it repairs and strength strengthens. Excited to be able to actually use this with the number zero that's supposed to, you know, we're not going to go too far into that. I would have enjoyed this if this was a full size because I know I will get multiple uses out of this because my, I, it's bleach blonde. I mean, you know, come on. <laughs> it's it's kind of damaged. Moving on to day number eight. 
Looks like we have a full size from Revolution Skincare, and this is Gly Glycolic Polisher. Gently exfoliates to reveal a brighter, fresher complexion. Has it been like that the whole time? And nobody told me. Moving on to day number nine, which could possibly have been six, six or nine, you know, either way. All right, so here we have the Estee Lauder, the Advanced Night Repair Serum. It's Synchronized Multi Recovery Complex, so it is just a sample size. But again, with something like this, I think I'd rather have a sample size to know if I kind of generally like the idea of it. Because Estee Lauder's not, she's not cheap. Nope. Number 10, she's right here, this other little marbly box. I really like this box, but I'm not going to save it because I just ripped it. <laughs> a box inside a box. All right, so this is from, oh, The Ordinary. This is hydra Hydrators and Oils. Oh, it's 100% plant-derived squalene. So this is just from The Ordinary and it's just 100% squalene derived from plants. This is, I've never had a just straight squalene product from them or in general. The Ordinary is a great cheaper fucking, just, it's just a way more affordable skincare line than Estee Lauder. Anyway, moving on to uh, number 11 and 18's trying to escape. Oh, we have seam eyelashes from Dainty, I think. Our Dain nope, is that the brand? Nope, the brand is Prima. So the style is Dainty Lashes. Number 12. I'm just kind of savagely ripping these boxes now. Next we have something from Codely. I'm not sure, it's got a little morning and night symbol on the back. Vino Perfect, it's a serum. I'm not sure what you're good for, what you do, what you, you made in France. Codely, it's a Vinyl Perfect Radiant Serum Complexion Correcting Serum. Because I can't read French, and the French in French, so yeah, I had to read the back. I could definitely use some correcting serum because uh, forehead lines, wrinkles, nothing I do is making them, I know they're not going to go away, but nothing is making them kind of just less prominent, less noticeable, not tightening, it's not doing anything. Rant over, moving on to 13, which is hiding underneath 18 because 18 just wants to get opened. So lucky number 13, we have, I have so many of these, but these are like the Geo, the mini Guel, Gua Shia facial one. Gu you know the thing where you're going like this? I don't want to do it too hard or whatever because my makeup, but like, and it's supposed to just kind of help push back your your glands and stuff and kind of make you a little less, honestly, looking fat. Um, I don't know any medical thing or anything behind it, but I know that's just what it, it's just supposed to help massage and just, I, I don't really understand them. I gave my last one to my sister. Is she using it? Probably not. Should I watch my video? Day number 14 feels like it's empty. Oh, that's because it's eyeliner. Ned is from Sleek Makeup. This is Life Proof, a 12 hour wear coal eyeliner. Just your typical black eyeliner. I have not tried or heard of this brand. Like I did say earlier in the video, I am super excited to have different brands that, you know, never tried. Not as black as some other eyeliners, but super creamy, super soft. Day number 15 is up here. Day number 15, this is a three-in-one repair conditioner from We Are Paradox. 90% plastic free, 99% natural, vegan, and cruelty free. So this is just a conditioner. This container has one of those like Safety seals that you gotta poke it, and at least they gave me the top to poke it. That is very florally. Like, it smells a lot like roses. Not my favorite smell, but hopefully it actually... Which I do it anyways. You can use it as a normal conditioner. You know, you wash it out and everything. Or you can use it like a leave-in conditioner. It's multi-purpose use. Excited to try this. Never heard of this brand like I did say, but it's... It smells... It smells decent. It smells okay. Not my favorite scent. This 18 keeps hiding all my other boxes. So on day 16, revolution. This is not revolution. I didn't get the revolution. ASOS gave to me. Ooh, deep sleep body cocoon. This works. This is the multitasking beauty sleep saver for better nights and brighter mornings. I have tried this. I do absolutely love this. And I do love the sleep 
pillow spray or the relaxing there's two different ones there's a deep sleep spray and like a relaxing relaxation spray but they both put me to sleep like just instantly like I just absolutely love the scent of them so and I have tried this this works just <laughs> I hate saying like this works because like that's the brand, but you know. Day number 17. She's right here. Very light. Ooh. Whoa! <laughs> Why do advent calendars do this? I don't. Oh, it's in this one. So I don't think I'm going to be able to get it to you oh do you see what's on the inside of that on the inside of that is one of those plastic hair ties invisi bubble i don't know something i but it's got that plastic hair tie in the middle and i can't my hair's too thin i can't use those no nope. i could go without this one just give me 23 days and not even that <laughs> Why'd you do this? <laughs> now we get to do 18. The one that just is just in my way. I have no, oh, maybe sheet masks in this one. <laughs> I'd actually do without any. Oh, look. It's soothing Hydra Solution. It's a sheet mask with Aqualex and Quick Soothing Complex. It's a pretty big mask. Um, that the fact that they had to fold it to fit in the box. So we do have a single sheet mask. Called it. Told you there was gonna be one in here. Day number 19. We have a different eyeliner. And this one is from Seate London. And it looks like it's in is it a, like a champagne color or is it a nude? I can't tell. Let me open it. Starburst. So we do have a, another eyeliner here, and this one is in the shade Starburst. And it looks like it's just a nice gold, I don't know if you can see it, but like a golden champagne-y color. Put this on like the inner corner of my water uh, la lower lash line. Stunning, I really like that color. Super pretty. What day was that, 19? So now we can do 20 of this big box right here, because it won't even stay open because it's heavy. All right, so day 20, we have from Elemis. It's a soothing apricot toner. I do enjoy a lot of things from Elemis, but have not tried this. Day 21, we have, ooh, a MAC lipstick in the shade Whirl. And there is our shade Whirl. I'll give you guys a swatch here of, oh, that's pretty. It's almost very similar to the color, like, this is kind of like my go-to shade uh, for lips because it just, I feel like it looks the best on me. So excited to have this color in this lipstick. I wonder if I could just put it on over top. Maybe I won't put it on over top. I don't know, I'm putting it on over top. It's actually a little bit darker. Super pretty. Day number 22. Oh, she's kind of heavy too. Have you seen the other ones and even last year of my light slacker advent calendar quit sending emery boards don't do it don't just don't no 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 no. spend the extra couple of dollars and put a glass filing na na nail file in there um but you know other than that other than this little mini emery board it's sparkly it's cute and it says little mini ma macaron 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 yeah but it does come with the nail and cuticle oil so glad it came with that and not just by itself <laughs> other than I still think you, you brands you can just do a little bit better put a glass filing nail file in there there you can get you know one from like the Dollar General or Dollar Tree or something for a few bucks whatever like uh, compared to going to you know the Dollar Tree and getting like 10 for a dollar so Hopefully this doesn't has, because it's called Rose Kissa. That's cute, it smells like nail polish. Okay, I'm gonna stop sniffing it. Um, I thought it was like an oil, not a nail polish. But I mean, it does say nail and cuticle oil, but why does it smell like nail polish is beyond me. So we're just gonna move on. Am I really dark? I think, oh yeah, I did turn it down. All right, uh, last two days, you guys. 
I'm just gonna pull them both out and set this aside because last two days. So day 23. Oh, we have, it looks like a little mini eyeshadow palette. How cute, how exciting. I can't get the bubble wrap out. Okay, and it is from Iconic London and it is, oh, super cute. Just a little mini four pan eyeshadow palette. I'll give you guys some swatches. We have Conquer, Rags to Riches, Bellini, and Wonderland. Ooh, Rags to Riches and Wonderland are very just pretty on my fingers. Ooh, super pigmented right there. These like metallic y shimmers are absolutely just stunning. That one didn't swatch as good. Well, let's do another one really quick. The rags to riches. She didn't swatch as well as I'd like it to. Could have just been me because that that was a much better swatch. That just made up for. I mean, a lot of the, actually a lot of products in this were really really good. So it's not like this was a bad advent calendar. But the final day on day 24, we did receive. It's Charlotte Tilbury. It's her magic cream with the sample size. It's, it's, it's so cute. Oh. Oh, that looks. Okay, no. It looked separated in my jar here, so I was like, oh, so they're just giving out old samples? I can't say that they are or they're not, but no, it just, it's the way that the cream went inside the tube. So I'm not going to um, sample this on my hand or anything because I know this is super expensive. Like the big jar is like 200 or something. Stupidly expensive. Anyway, I'm not gonna go over, re-go over like what, uh, just all the products because this was a phenomenal advent calendar. For the $99, I highly recommend this one. I don't know what shipping was. Probably should have included that in there, but you know. Okay, so the delivery was actually free, but my sales tax for here in Michigan at 6%, so I had to pay an extra $5. But I also did apparently get $15 off, so I only paid $89 for this box. So, you know, um, for the $89, heck yeah. <laughs> I don't know how I managed that. And also, actually, I did use Rakuten, if you know anything about them. So I got like 10% cash back as well. So this box was a lot cheaper than the $99. So for that, Definitely, I mean, I got a cute bag. Like, huh. anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this ASOS Advent Calendar unboxing. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because it does help me out. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking this link right here. And if you want to catch up on the other Advent Calendars because you missed a few or just hang out a little bit longer, there should be a playlist. Go and click and, you know, click one of these right here. I love you guys and I'll catch you in my next video. Also, because I don't say it very often. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. Bye.